A 2020 Illinois Nursing Workforce Center report finds the state will be short 15,000 nurses by 2025. And today, state lawmakers in two House committees heard testimony about the shortage. WGEM Illinois Capitol Bureau Chief Max Cotton shows us what, what nurses want and why hospitals don't like their proposed solution. The hospitals aren't staffing us appropriately. That was the general consensus Tuesday among nurses and advocates during a hearing in Chicago on nursing staffing shortages. We're all trying to um, give the patients the best care that results in the best possible outcomes. But we're being uh, put into impossible situations daily. Situations, shortages, moral dilemmas that are created by hospitals, their associations, and their administrators. To fix the problem, Perez and her fellow nurses want lawmakers to mandate nurse-to-patient staffing ratios. The proposal is called the Illinois Safe Patient Limits Act. It would allow the State Department of Health and the Attorney General to enforce staffing ratios. Hospital administrators disagree. They say there's a national workforce shortage, including nurses. However, staffing is still a priority. Despite this environment, hospitals continue to prioritize and maintain safe staffing levels. Wilhelmy and the administrators he represents also fear staffing mandates could make it harder to provide quality care. We will be forced to cut back and possibly eliminate vital services, as I mentioned to some of the most vulnerable president in Illinois and the country because we do not have the financial resources to hire more nurses. Opponents also argue a one-size-fits-all staffing requirement fails to take into account the differences between communities and their health care needs across Illinois. In Springfield, Max Cotton, WGEM News. And there are bills in the state house and senate that would mandate staffing ratios committee members did not vote on either piece of legislation today though